Ella is the happy ending for one mother of a story that began with deep sadness for another. Ella was premature and saved by pioneering medical research. Today, Sarah Brown, the wife of the former Prime Minister, joined Ella's mother. Sarah lost her baby daughter, Jennifer, at just 10 days old. She and her husband set up a research institute in her memory. Fifteen years later, you look back at quite a, a legacy of work by these remarkable scientists and to just know how it tracks through where baby Ella's here today because of that work is a lovely feeling. It's a really lovely feeling. Sarah and Gordon Brown went on to have two boys but never forgot the baby girl who died when they were living in Downing Street. Altogether, I received over 13,000 letters and I, kn I knew I had to reply to everyone who'd given me an address and I did, but I did it with a postcard. I had a lovely first day picture of Jennifer and I was able to send that out as a postcard then. So I, anyone who sent me an address, I did write back to them. It was yeah, quite, quite a task, but quite a healing task too. You've never talked about it though, so it must still be painful. It's always going to be painful and it's always a huge part of you. It's, you know, she's our precious little girl who lives in our hearts and we were very lucky that with the care of the doctors, nurses, midwives, that we had those 10 days with her, you know, because every one of those minutes counted so, so much. Sarah and I never had the joy of experiencing Jennifer taking her first steps. Today, Gordon Brown also spoke of the good that came out of their loss. It's particularly poignant because Ella's grandfather was Gordon Brown's friend and colleague, the Labour leader John Smith, who died in 1994. I think he'd be very, very touched, very touched. Him and Gordon were incredibly close. Um, and the, I can remember climbing hills in Scotland with them and just ranting about economic policy all the way up and all the way down. They were close in every way. Um, and he would just be so touched. The laboratory the Browns helped to set up is now pioneering neurological research into premature babies. The work which helped Ella looked at best conditions to keep babies like her alive. Ella was a premature baby who needed oxygen support and respiratory support and um, that knowledge that has come through first laboratories such as this and then big randomised control trials has helped, helped her doctors to understand how much oxygen she should receive. Ella's fully healthy and her mother thanks the doctors and nurses who saved her every day. But above all, she thanks the Browns, who by turning their grief into action, gave her family the life of their daughter. Penny Marshall, ITV News, Edinburgh.